Hey y'all, so I am now a member over at Patreon. So by clicking my link below and subscribing to my Patreon, you can receive new and exclusive content today. So, all right y'all, let's go ahead and get into this story. Um, so in Seattle, they had a conference to address the homelessness um, crisis that is going on. And you would not believe who they invited for entertainment, or maybe you will believe it. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. All right, so I think y'all pretty much get the, the picture here. So this is according to SeattleTimes.com. After dancer strips at Seattle Conference on Homelessness, agency director suspended. So the director of Kings County's Coordinating Agency for Homelessness is on pay leave, leaving, leave following a dancer strip show at the agency's annual conference on Monday. Her former Beyonce Black St. James danced topless in a sheer body suit, gave lap dances and kissed attendees, according to a staffer at a local housing, housing nonprofit who attended the conference in South Seattle. Kira Zystra, organizer of the conference at South Seattle College, has been placed on leave as of Thursday, according to Chief of Staff for the King County Department of Community and Human Services. The department declined to come in further because of the act of investigation Ooh, child. <laughs> so in Seattle um, there's a conference addressing something as serious as homelessness and for the entertainment okay in, in Seattle where the population is only 7% black people. For the entertainment, you choose to have a black trans woman stripper entertainer. Not only that, this is a taxpayer funded event. I've talked about this. We've talked about this, you guys. I've talked about how important it is for Black people to protect their images, for Black people to be very aware and conscious of the Im imagery they're creating. Um, this is very reminiscent of the Lizzo situation that we saw um, last week where the young black uh, female entertainer went into the Laker game and decided to twerk on um, like front row in a thong. Um, we know that white feminist and white LGBT love to parade around um, certain types of Black people from the actual stature to now uh, Black men slash Black trans women becoming the face of LGBT. I've talked about this. Uh, being paraded around as entertainment. Then, <laughs> then they had the nerve, the thing, y'all. I you cannot make this stuff up. It writes itself. 
the theme of this conference is decolonizing our collective work. How ironic. How ironic, decolonizing our collective work while being very reminiscent of colonization. I don't know how many of you are familiar with the story of Sarah Bartman, the African woman that was paraded around by white people in Europe as a freak show um, for her, uh, you know, paraded around for her body proportions, for her large buttocks. And they have the nerve Decolonizing our collective work. I said, boy, I tell you. We live in a society, society where people actually think this is progressive. They actually think this type of stuff is progressive. As if, as if to say that Black people in America haven't always been hypersexualized. Okay, you have black men becoming the face of LGBT. You have black women becoming the face of the sexual fluid fluidity, sexually free, uh, uh, slut culture movements. You have people like Oprah that can't turn down a freaking check. They continue to push this uh, idea that black men are the face of the Me Too movement, that black men are incapable of controlling their sexual urges, okay? Very um, aggressive and hypersexualized. And yet, you have black people willing to take on the tropes of this imagery because they think it's progressive. As if anybody has ever stopped them from uh, being attributed as sexual. Um, for the life of me, I just don't understand it. I continue to preach that black people should be, um, should be, should, should police their images, especially the ones that they can particularly uh, challenge, the ones that they can control. Like, that just makes sense to me. We complain about stereotypes, we complain about the way that we're depicted in the media, and then not only when we control the media, or when it's us controlling our own images, we don't even take the chances to move forward and do so. And so you have these stereotypes that are uh, consistently casted on an entire group of people. And we know that at some point you have to admit that, like, like I, you know, I'm an honest person. I'm not going to sit here and say that some of these images aren't reflective of some people's experiences, like this entertainer and even um, some of the Black trauma porn that we see, right? Uh, uh, you know, black struggle love and all this other stuff, all these other stereotypes um, that they try to push and force into the movies, okay? I would be wrong to sit here and act like this doesn't exist for some people. But you have to admit, when you are constantly being berated with certain images, you're being hit over the head. And, 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 and statistically, it just doesn't make sense and is not representative of an entire group of people. You have to admit that it's an agenda and your image is being used to further push that agenda. Uh, so yeah, I, I, just, I, I just can't rock with this. I just can't rock with this. And to know the people in that room see this person as some type of like freak show that like that's what it is to them like you're nothing more than just entertainment over there like 
I don't know, I just can't rock with it. And when we're constantly being the face of all of the sexual movements, like, what does that say? Like, what are y'all trying to say? What are you doing? And it's just bothersome to me. I'm sorry, it's bothersome. But those are my thoughts. Leave your thoughts below. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye.